So the woman that just keep on putting out videos that we can really use to make an example, Brittany Renner. Now she put up a video maybe about a week ago and, and I've been meaning to get to this video. Now, you know, her backstory, you know, she was, you know, one of these little thought females she got with, um, PJ Washington, the NBA player had a whole baby with this man. Then she came out saying how she finessed him, uh, saying how you can do how to get a baby from an athlete, all this little grimy thing. She said she wasn't sorry how she finessed the brother at all. You know, we definitely talked about him and his simp behavior, but see little women like Brittany Renner think that, you know, they're going to have a happy ending when they like to finesse, you know, different men and, trying to, you know, use a child who's an innocent child to run up a check. Now she's, you know, away from, you know, the, the dad, right? And I want you to hear this video that she made recently. Let's roll that clip. Hey, y'all. Hi. It's officially stepdaddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> Don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with, but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else, okay? It just will. That's how that goes. And trust me, I know it's ghetto. <laughs> it is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary. But mm, me and my baby going to be all right. We're going to be all right. So we're moving forward, onward, and upward. Okay, I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you the baby mamas now today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not a threat. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son, put him on your story. I trust his judgment. I really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear I do. Now, I'm not a threat. But, you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe I'll never be in your favor. <laughs> but I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? <laughs> oh, it is ghetto. It's so fucking ghetto. <laughs> um, in conclusion, stepdaddy season. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through need only apply. <laughs> now, during the time of, you know, this uh, pandemic where you got this virus going around, you keep hearing the term a lot when people kind of question some of that, the term misinformation, and you keep hearing the term disinformation a lot. Even if you've never heard that before, you have heard it so many times, it's probably getting on your freaking nerves. Well, you know, what they try to do on these social media platforms is try to take down any, you know, kind of uh, person that's trying to go against the official narrative. Now, why am I bringing this up? I think what Brittany Renner is doing in this video is more dangerous in my opinion than when somebody talk about something, just even questioning, um, you know, the situation with the virus. Now, why she, this woman has what millions of followers and she's putting out here to maybe, you know, little women that could be impressionable that it's okay for me just to leave the father, you know, of my child, because, Hey, I can just get another man to come in and play stepdaddy. And a lot of women play themselves when they do that. I've seen it happen more than once. You think you look good. You think you can just get any old man. And then it's worse for her because she had an NBA player. So when a woman that gets some guy that's like an NBA player, it's going to be kind of hard for her to take someone that's kind of below that pay grade. Just to be honest with you in her mind, you know, she's, say she looked good or whatever, but the harsh reality is going to hit her in the face. She admits that she is being a hood rat, just being a baby mama. And it's not that because she has a child that makes her a hood rat. 
The fact is the way she done that. Now, because she chose to do something like that, she definitely has, you know, some karma coming back to her. That's for sure. You know, it was really no reason. She didn't say that PJ Washington was beating her or doing any kind of bad things to her. No, she just wanted to do that. So this little child was a little boy. You take this little boy away from his daddy just because you wanted to. And then you want to come up here and tell me you want $200,000 a month in child support. See, men, let me tell you something. When you meet these women with kids, even if you got a kid, try to find out why she left that, 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 the dad of the kid. You need to ask those questions because you need to see if it really is just something that just kind of, you know, broke apart. Or, you know, was she being just grimy? Was she just, you know, not being responsible and just laying down and having a kid with a man? You need to find out. And then in this video, as a man, okay, let's say, you know, I mean, even though we know this you know, PJ Washington is a little young simp, you hear this video, she she's okay with some new guy coming in and talking about you could post my kid in your story and all the different things that she's saying. I trust you like that's a, that is another major problem right there is too many women that get with these little guys later. And just some of them are too trusted and thinking none of these guys got bad intentions. None of them out here can, you know, pull a polite situation. You understand what I'm saying? Just, you just didn't never know, right? You just don't know about people, but that mindset that I can just get somebody else is false. Let me tell you why you can't just get anybody else. Do you realize that no matter, and you know, everybody talks about the scale of one to 10 on women. Do you know every child you have is going to give you minus two points? Now you may get a minus one depending on two factors, how you look and how well behaved that child is. Because that child can just knock you out of the box completely. You may still have all your looks, but if your kid bad as hell, you probably can lose five points right off the rip. Because no man not to, about to come in there and deal with your old bad kid. That's first and foremost. But normally, you're going to lose two points on a scale of one to ten when it comes to those children. That's bottom line. So you got two or two different baby daddies, but now, you know, even if you are a 10, you didn't drop down to uh, a six. I'm just giving you, I'm just giving you the real, how a lot of guys look at that. Now guys will fool with you. Guys will lay down with you, but we are talking about, you don't want a guy just to come around and lay down. Now, if you want a guy just to do that, cool. I understand. But a lot of these women don't want that. They want the guy to be there and, and make something with them eventually. And a lot of these guys, when, you, when they see those kids, they're like, Shh, you know, some of them don't want to deal with that. Now, that's why I always say that if you got a child, get with a guy that has children or a child and make sure this guy is a involved and loving father. That's the second thing too. If you get with a guy that's with a child, of course you need to be that way as well. But I really don't see, any kind of guy coming in with her situation due to the fact of the videos that she's made online. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this little woman's crazy as hell. As you can tell, there's something wrong with her. And that's another thing, fellas don't fall for these little crazy females out here that you may think of. Trust me. You may look at they, they little looks or whatever, but I tell you those looks is not going to be there very long. Because they have a thing, fellas, called the wall. And it's coming. The wall is inevitable like Thanos. I'm telling you that. And you're going to be stuck with when the wall finally get there. Now, some of them may get to the wall faster than others. The wall may come slower for some of them than others due to, you know, genetics, due to, you know, if they drink and drug their the life. You know, that can age them real fast. If they had a lot of stress in their life, you know, overall health, you know, whatever they, you know, do with their life, right? Because you can have some that really haven't hit the wall just yet, but they, they, they getting there, right? 
But, you know, you've seen some of them can hit the wall in their 30s. And that's, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, that could happen. Now, we're speaking about, at least with Brittany Renner's situation, we're talking about, you know, uh, black people. Now, we're talking about other groups of people, you know, especially, you know, the, the Becky group. You know, they hit the wall the fastest. I mean, for real. <laughs> yeah, they do. But that's inevitable with her. So she has a short window to get a guy to actually care for her for her, not really so much for how she looked. The looks get you in the door with a man, but the looks won't keep a man. Okay. What's going to keep that man is who you are. And we have seen with her personality that her personality in a lot of ways sucks and she grind me and she do dirty things. So it should not be no step daddy season. If anything, you should go apologize and go right back to the daddy of that little boy. That's what you need to go do. Why so much, Why you want some other man to come in there and take care of your kid when he got a daddy over there? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Uh, the black man always got to come in and, and with a ready-made family. Can he make a family of his own? You don't honor your womb enough or you honor your child enough to say, hey, let me make sure to, to stay with this man, you know, as long as he's not being abusive or things like that, just so, I, so my child could have – uh, a father in his life. You understand? You know, she's talking about the little mamas today. The little mamas today are the most horrible things I've ever seen in my life. Because you little women today, you know, at one point in time, you know, you'll see women wilding out and say, oh, I got a child now. I need to, you know, tone that down. I need to not dress, you know, thottish. I need to, you know, uh, be a responsible mom, you know, coming up to this school and, and have a you know decent reputation now that I have a child looking up to me. And no, they don't do that. They still want to go booty pop and twerk, and they still want to do OnlyFans, and they got a whole baby in the house. You know, these little, these little mothers today are horrible. They ain't nothing like what, what the women used to be at all. So she needs she need to stop that mess. But women back in the day when the, when they left the, the dad, especially like what woman leaves a dude – that that plays in the NBA, he ain't done nothing wrong to you. We ain't heard nothing he done wrong. Just because you just felt like it, because you want to get grimy and get a baby. That's why I hope you don't ever get no money in child support. Like I said, boy, y'all, I couldn't be a judge. I hear something like that. I say, oh hell no, you ain't getting nothing. You know, matter of fact, you want custody, sir? You do? You can your mama help to, and your aunties and them help take care of this baby? Or you got a babysitter or something? Okay. I'm going to give you custody because her decision making is just not even right. But y'all let me know what you think with this, you know, crazy Brittany Renner, man. Some of these females think they can just leave and have a baby and walk off, uh, you know, and some other dude going to come in. That's why I'm not for dudes coming in taking care of these females and their kids like that. No, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You know, you want basically you want to put your kid on somebody else. That boy got a daddy. It should be no step daddy season. Forget that. It should be karma season for you.